Hey guys, welcome back for another home video, although it's not going to be in my home. So I've been enjoying the heck out of my new home theater here, and my buddy Jeff bought pretty much all of my old system. He got my old 60-inch, old stuff wasn't old, it was just the previous system. He got my 60-inch plasma, which was an LG panel. He bought my main speakers, my center channel, my receiver, and my sub. And he's been collecting all the rest of the stuff that he needed to complete his own home theater, starting from scratch. He bought the same Fluence rear surrounds here that I use, proven they work absolutely fantastically in this configuration of going wide instead of long. This is a fairly large living room if you look at it this way. I'll step to the end here. So I've got a ton of space going back that way, but obviously the doors out to the patio there can't put a TV on that end. This end here is kitchen and hallway. So can't put a TV on this end. So I had to go widthwise. It definitely makes it tough for setup. You have a small position that everything really starts to sound good, but luckily just enough space. His room is pretty much the same thing. So he got the same speakers and he knows that they're gonna work. And I got a message just this morning, he's getting a head start and he went ahead and mounted them on the walls, hopefully in the right position because he didn't ask me where to put them. But other than that, we're starting from scratch. So I've got my tools, I've got everything I think I need to head on over there right now. He's down in St. Pete, so I got quite a little drive. And we're gonna mount his TV on the wall, we're gonna set up all the electronics, position all the speakers, and then do the fine tuning and the room setup and all that kind of good stuff. I've got a laptop and it's got a bunch of uh, top quality ripped Blu-rays for testing surround sound and general bass management for movies and all that kind of good stuff. One of the things that he bought was an Apple TV. So I'll be able to install and fuse and jump on his network and stream movies just like I do here. He got a Bluetooth uh, streamer and just in case, I'm not sure which one he got, but just in case it's not high quality, I've got one here, my spare, uh, just so I can stream from my iPad using Spotify on its highest quality. So we can set up two channel stereo and drill and bits and level and tape measure and all that kind of good stuff for mounting the TV. Who's your big buddy? Who's your big buddy? Ah! All right, guys, this is what we're dealing with. We got the... Uh, Old busted ass TV, right? Oh, exactly. <laughs> so uh, he's getting a big size upgrade. We're gonna take this down. He's got everything roughed in here, but you know we haven't done any tweaking yet. Everything is going to change. So this is the space we're dealing with. Again, pretty much like I got. Hey, Jeff. Hey, yeah. boom. So he's got his speakers up, and I had forgotten that these windows are here. So you know what? That's fine. These are these are gonna be okay. Ideally, probably would have moved them over, but then you get into the window frame and everything. That's gonna work just fine because they're dipoles. Uh, sub, we'll do a sub crawl later. It may end up there. It may end up at the back of the room, may end up in the left. We don't know yet. And I hope we can get these pictures from them. <laughs> oh yeah, we can take some pictures. That's easy. So we're gonna put up the new TV and it, uh, it may end up being a little bit lower, so we can hide some cables. And that's a really cool rack. So we're good with space. There's the old receiver. Have the Apple Blu-ray. We're gonna set up the Apple TV. Cool. All right, so we're going to do some physical work now. Get the old TV down, get the new TV up, get stuff out of the way. We're gonna do a two channel setup first. He is concerned about music. Now my concern is because he's got the walkway right here, pretty much the same problem I had, but mine was more the wife is how far out we can move the speakers from the wall. So we're gonna test it. And like I told him earlier, we'll get it sounding really great wherever they happen to like to be. And if you can live with it, great. If not, we'll, we'll move them back as far as we need to. And same with the couch, moving it out. But we won't know until we get some testing done. So we're gonna start off with the physical install, then we'll do the two channel setup get these speakers where they need to be, and everything else will fall into place. Dog trick time! What's he gonna do? Sit pretty, sit pretty. Oh, good boy. <laughs> okay, step one, nice size upgrade. Now we're 
fill in the space there and it's almost matching the whole entertainment center. Okay, now we're gonna wire the rest of it in. Okay, we had to make a pit stop at Walmart for an extra HDMI cable and while we were there, got him a battery backup unit so now he's not plugged directly into this horrible grid that is lightning plagued. Apple TV, we're just setting him up with an Apple account since he's an Android guy and then we'll get that software updated and I'm about to connect the speakers and start its basic setup. I've got four inputs in use. I've got the uh, streamer. I did end up using the one I brought. The one that I told him to get, I didn't notice, but they only give you this 3.5 mil jack as the input. So uh, this was just so he could stream Spotify, but I don't care about my spare, so he's just gonna use that. That's an input four. We got his cable box, which I just remembered I have to drag back out and connect the coax again in three, Blu-ray in two, Apple TV in one, and we're getting there. Well, it's a good thing I brought my laptop, not using it yet for the movies, just to create an iTunes account. This is so stupid. Apple, you need to make things easier. So he's an Android guy, and he doesn't have a computer here right now. Um, <laughs> We created an Apple ID, no problem, and did that on my iPad. He could have done that on his phone. That allows you to sign into the Apple TV itself and you know get it working. So we wanted to install Netflix, free app, go to install it. It wants you to sign into your iTunes account. And that's so if you purchase things or rent things, that's what it charges. But they haven't yet linked iTunes and Apple ID. There shouldn't be an iTunes account. Doesn't make any sense. Here's the killer. You can't create an iTunes account from the Apple TV. You can't do it from an Android device. You can't even do it from your phone or iPad if you're somebody else using somebody's iOS device. You have to install the iTunes program, that old piece of crap that nobody needs. You have to install that just to use the sign-in feature to create an account. Apple, what the hell, man? Okay, my work is done. I'm gonna go out and enjoy a smoke with Jeff. He hasn't been in yet. I just spent quite a bit of time calibrating, setting all the crossovers, positioning the speakers, dialing it in as best as possible. Now, he is, my priority was two-channel stereo with great theater. His priority is great theater with good two-channel stereo. He says he primarily listens to music out in his man cave or outside, so that wasn't his top priority. So I got him completely dialed in for playing movies, and you know what? Two-channel stereo here still sounds very good. The actual sound, surprisingly good. Um, this is a rectangle room, a, oh, I don't know, eight-foot ceiling, and just purely out of luck, there is no null when you're naturally sitting in this seat right here where he sits, but you move your head just a couple feet forward, completely opposite of my living room, just dies, just dies. So it actually sounds the best almost all the way against the wall, which works out fine. Speakers, uh, they sound their best, well, this far out. That's almost a foot, right about there. Uh, I didn't bother testing much farther out than that because that was as far as, he lives here with his uh, elderly mother, and that's as far out as he's willing to go, completely understandable. And then this one over here is right by the entrance. So that's, uh, that's as good as they're gonna get, but really good sound. Um, the image is definitely suffering. It's, it's not quite locked in. That means when there's a phantom center, for example, when you're playing Little Room, on my system, the way I have it set up, it is dead center. It's like she's in the fireplace and she's the width of a human head. I mean, it, it sounds like there's somebody in front of you singing. Here, it's still very good, all right? The speakers are beginning to be transparent, meaning the sound is not coming from the speakers, and you can tell it's, 
it's coming from you know the TV area, but it's not locked into the size of a person. The voice is somewhere in the center. So, you know, it's it's getting there. You could play around with placement and definitely get it, but it wouldn't work for what he needs. So that's good enough. Uh, movies, dude, it sounds really good in here. This is a floating, very nice hardwood floor that he had put in, and it's it's got a lot of give to it. And I'll tell you what, the mid base, where I've got these pulks positioned, really kicks. The subwoofer, I don't have it isolated, and I don't think I need to because when you're sitting on the couch, it almost acts like one of those old school vibration devices, and the the kick just gives you that in the chest feeling. I can tell there's a missing octave because I have that huge SVS sub. I can tell that there is something missing in the 20s, but you know that's just because I'm used to hearing all of the soundtrack. He's gonna absolutely go bananas. Uh, He's, like I said, not seen or heard this yet, so I'm going to enjoy this. He's going to come back in, and we'll see if he's happy. Hope so. I mean, you can hear it, like, clear as day. Boom, baby. That's the business. <laughs> Brian came through big time, hooked me up, did me good. If you don't believe this me, turn it up and go and stand right outside there, <laughs> and then you'll hear it clear. Wow. <laughs> this is theater, man. Screw going to the movies. I'm right here. All you need is a popcorn maker, hey. a bag of juju beans. I'm good. Hey, all you, all, all you need now is Hulu. <laughs> I got that, this Netflix right now, partner. He's got it all. We set him up. This is the business. Thanks, B. You the man. You're you the welcome, man. man. You the man. Nothing but love. Guys, I'm telling you. And this is his old stuff. <laughs> so his upgrade is like up there. You know what I'm saying? This is the business. This is it, it right? It sound good. I'll tell you that. This is the business. It really sounds good. I mean, walking up the walkway, you can hear it clear. Ooh! I was like <laughs> I say, all I heard was like an explosion, uh -huh. and then I heard somebody scream right quick as I walked up the thing. I said, "Damn, he got his shit hooked up." <laughs> <laughs> I ran the wires late last night. Yeah, I, was, I told you I was gonna help you. Yeah, well, I had to get it done because he was coming today. So, boom. Appreciate you, man. I really well, appreciate you. I'm finna go out there and cut the front yard. No, bro. We're gonna watch movies, man. We're finna get some popcorn chips going. We're gonna watch the dress of Kool Aid. <laughs> we finna relax and watch movies. Yeah, we can this still watch movies. This is what it's all about, man. That grass. that grass ain't going nowhere. We right here right now. We finna do some theatering right now. Can you believe he's never seen Infinity War? <laughs> never seen it. <laughs> well, you're gonna finish it today. Yes. Oh, he's gonna really enjoy it. Yes. Because yes. uh, this one is good, but yeah. I'm gonna tell you. The new one coming out on the 26th, okay, the yeah. end game. Yes. And that that shows where because where they supposed to have all disappeared, mm -hmm. they all return. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. You haven't I'm seen not, this yet. I'm not <laughs> I'm not spoiling it, but I'm just saying. But I'll be watching that here. <laughs> Forget going to the movies. I am I'm at the movies. Well this, enjoy it, man. Yes, sir, bro. Yeah, yes, this sir. is this this is Ooh. uh no, this is uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, well, that's them, but this is the Infinity Wars. Infinity Wars? Yeah. yeah. Where Hawk don't want to get his ass. Hey! <laughs> Spoiler! <laughs> wow. No, he already know about the Hawk don't want to come out. <laughs> wow. And the quality. And this is all. This team is what? Like five, six years old or something? Yep. It's got real good quality too. It is not 4K. You can see the picture. It is still quality versus what I had up there. Well, yeah, well, you that had TV all, went bad. What, well, you had all the blinds. Yeah, it, it started going bad. Yeah. And it's not worth repairing. No. no I don't think that one that would have been able to have been repaired anyway. And you got these for a song. <laughs> yeah, when did you put the rug down? Huh? When did you put the rug 20 down? 20 bucks Walmart um, I'm saying Thursday. We, oh, Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you, the rug and especially your curtains really tunes this room in. I wish I could put up curtains and had a nice dedicated small room like this wow. because it really helps the sound stage. It, now I had, we got to get. I had to spend a lot more money to get the same sound. Recliners. Wow. I'm glad I did. Yeah. You yeah. know how like the movie theater has recliners. Well, that's out in the garage. So when you upgrade, <laughs> this goes to the garage. I take his. It's downgrade, <laughs> and the recliners go out in the garage. <laughs> I'm in business now, y'all. I yeah. am in my zone. I mean, that's it's summertime. 
AC Kool Aid and movies. That's what it's all about. <laughs> well, that's a good quality picture there on that TV. Yeah. yeah. This is me, man. This is me. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> Glad you like it. Yes, sir. Glad yes, it sir. came out. Yes, sir. I'll see you guys later. It's a real good system. I said it sounds good. Mm-hmm.